Mr. Conrad, aye. Are there any other senators wishing to vote or wishing to change their vote? If not, the ayes are 59, the nays are 41.
the motion to table, the motion to concur in the House amendment to S627 is agreed to. Mr. President. The Majority Leader. I move to concur in the House amendment to 627 with an amendment. The Clerk will report. <laughs> the Senator from Nevada, Mr. Reed, proposes an amendment numbered 589 to the House amendment to S627. I ask for the yeas and nays on my motion. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be sufficient second. I also, Mr. President, have a cloture motion which is at the desk. The clerk will report. Cloture motion. We, the undersigned senators, in accordance with the provisions of Rule 22 of the Standing Rules of the Senate, hereby move to bring to a close the debate on the Reed motion to concur in the House Amendment to S627 with an amendment numbered 589, signed by 18 senators, as follows. Reed of Nevada, Baucus, Boxer, Levin, Harkin, Cardin, Schumer, Durbin, Leahy, Warner, Murray, Coons, Blumenthal, Brown of Ohio, Conrad, Begich, Kerry, Stabenow. Mr. President, I have a second degree amendment, which is at the desk. The clerk will report. The Senator from Nevada, Mr. Reed, proposes an amendment numbered 590 to amendment number 589. I have a motion to refer the House message to the Budget Committee with instructions to report back forthwith with an amendment. The clerk will report. The Senator from Nevada, Mr. Reed, moves to refer the House message to the Senate Budget Committee with instructions to report back forthwith with an amendment numbered 591. I ask the yeas and nays on that motion. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be sufficient second. The yeas and nays will be ordered. Now, Mr. President, I have an amendment to my instruction. That is also at the desk. The clerk will report. The Senator from Nevada, Mr. Reed, proposes an amendment numbered 592 to the instructions on the motion to refer the House message on S627. I ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be a sufficient second. Mr. The yeas and yeas are ordered. Thank you a lot, Mr. President. I have a second degree amend amendment to my instruction. That is at the desk. The clerk will report. The Senator from Nevada, Mr. Reed, proposes an amendment numbered 593 to amendment number 592. Mr. President, I uh, note the absence of quorum. The clerk will call the roll. What, <clears throat> what the think, senator was told. My friend, uh, the Republican leader, wishes to speak. I, of course, would withhold that. Yeah, I, I thank my friend. The, the Republican leader. leader. <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, ask my friend one more time. We have here a situation where the Senate has voted to table, in effect, the House passed measure, and the majority leader has. Uh, filled up the tree and filed a cloture on his proposal. And as I indicated earlier, every single member of my uh, uh, conference here in the Senate would be happy uh, to move that vote up. As we all know, the, the markets are waiting to see if we're going to act. It uh, strikes me that it might make sense for all of us on a bipartisan basis to go on and act as rapidly as possible. I believe every member of the Senate is pretty well determined how they would vote on a cloture on the motion to proceed uh, to my friend's uh, measure. Therefore, I would ask, again, consent that we immediately proceed to a vote on invoking cloture on the Reed Amendment. Mr. President. The Majority Leader. It's very obvious that there should be a vote on my amendment. And it should be with a simple majority. That's the way it has traditionally been in this body until the Republicans have tried to establish a supermajority which doesn't work. This is a filibuster. This is something that should not be filibustered. They should back off their filibuster. Let us vote on this. Let us vote on this. That's where we are. That's, we feel very strongly on this side that if the House can pass something with simple majority, so can we. Is there objection? Is there objection? I object. Objection noted. Mr. President, Mr. President, I would just finally point out, I don't, I don't want to belabor this, but I would just finally point out that we're in the rather curious position that the House of Representatives tomorrow at 1 p.m. will vote on the Reid proposal before my friend is and his 
conference are willing to let us vote on his proposal. I yield the floor. The majority leader. We know that if the legislation in the House of Representatives had required a supermajority, we would not be dealing with the Boehner uh, measure. Trying to say a nice word. Uh, <laughs> the Boehner legislation. We wouldn't be doing that. We're here now. We have tried our utmost to come up with a fair proposal that deserves an up or down vote. It's fair. It reduces the debt by $2.4 trillion. It's, it, most of it, well, in fact, most every bit of it includes material that the House has voted on before. The Senators have voted on before. It's something we should do. It's fair. We have tried to compromise. That is not a bad word. We, I had a meeting set, attended a meeting set with uh, some Republican Senators this afternoon. Meeting didn't come to be. I've asked my friend, the Republican leader, to negotiate, and he has chosen not to do that. And that's too bad. I want to move forward. And if he wants, my friend wants to negotiate with others, fine. I, my door has been open all day. But we're doing the right thing. We will not agree to a six-month extension, putting our country at jeopardy in just a few weeks. The Ryan budget is um, an out there, uh, whacking Medicare, whacking Medicaid, uh, the cut cap and whatever it was, does the same thing. What I have put forward is a fair proposal. It's something we should do. It would get rid of the disaster that's facing us. It's the right thing to do. The American people want us to work this out, and we have tried. We've given. We've compromised. There's just been no give on the other side. In fact, Mr. President, it's been quite the opposite. We had, a, we had a wonderful agreement set up here between the two people who ran the Budget Committee for years, Senators Conrad and Gray. Wonderful proposal. We moved forward. Expedited procedures. What happened? When we moved to it, seven Republicans who sponsored the legislation didn't vote for it. Then we moved forward with the Biden group. What happened with that? The Republicans walked out of that meeting. We had a situation where meetings were going on with the President. Leader Cantor from the House walked out on that meeting. Speaker Boehner walked out on the President twice. The gang of six trying to work something out. The, one of the leaders, the person, the most vocal leader of that group, took a sabbatical leave. Hmm. And he stepped back in just a few days ago. We have tried our utmost to negotiate something in fairness. We are where we are. We want an up or down vote on my proposal. If the Republicans are going to continue to filibuster this, they're going to have to show at 1 o'clock Sunday morning or thereabouts, that they're going to continue to filibuster. We are not going to give up on this. Mr. President. Mr. President, I think we would all agree it's fairly routine to have the 60 vote uh, threshold in the Senate, particularly on a matter of enormous significance like this. It's really almost unheard of to suggest that a matter of this magnitude would be dealt with at a 51-vote at a uh, threshold. So where are we? I mean, it's an interesting history lesson that my friend gives us about various debates we've had in the past, but this is where we are right now. Where we are right now is our good friends on the other side do not want us to move forward with a vote on what they are advocating. Yes, we, do. we just heard majority. the majority leader uh, suggest, talk about, can we have order in the Senate, Mr. President? The Senate will be in order. We've just heard the majority leader making the arguments on the merits for his proposal. That's what we would like to move forward with. We'd be happy to have the vote on cloture on the motion to proceed to his or cloture on his measure tonight, so we could move forward in that in, in, and finally get a, a resolution here. So we have the curious position that the majority is in effect stopping action on its own proposal. And the House of Representatives tomorrow will vote on the Reid proposal, apparently, before the Senate will vote on the majority leader's proposal. Mr. I, President, finally, as the, as the, the majority leader said, we don't need to carry this on forever. I agree with my friend. This, is a, this legislation is of utmost importance. It has great significance, as he said. All the more reason there should not be a filibuster being conducted on this legislation. Our country is in the throes of an economic disaster. And to think that they would filibuster this, they're not negotiating, 
And that's why we, at the last, we, we, we waited as long as we could to come forward with something that we would try to get through here. But we have not been able to do it because they have not negotiated in good faith. All the negotiation has been, we've been negotiating with ourselves. So I suggest the absent quorum. <laughs> Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Kaka.
Thank you.